Welcome to our video on configuring Azure DevOps as source control for Azure Automation. In this video, we'll go through the process of setting up Azure DevOps as your scripting source control for Azure Automation. In a previous video here, we went through the process of converting interactive PowerShell scripts to unattended PowerShell scripts. Then we moved into Azure Automation so they could run on a schedule in the cloud. First, let's understand why Azure DevOps as source control for Azure Automation is beneficial. Azure DevOps provides a centralized repository to manage all your automation scripts, allowing for easy version control, collaboration, and to track changes. To get started, ensure you have an Azure DevOps account. Don't worry if you don't have one, your user account will get one when you set up the organization. In this use case, Azure DevOps is really affordable. It's about one fourth of the cost as GitHub Enterprise. The first five users are free, and since this is just for scripting, you don't need anything like the pipeline items or automated testing, so the basic $5 per user per month is all you need once you reach user number six. Yeah! Also, if you have Visual Studio subscriptions, those include Azure DevOps licenses as well. If you're new to Azure DevOps and don't have a DevOps organization, go ahead and create one. Search DevOps in the Azure portal, and you'll be brought to the screen to create a organization. You give it a name and then select which region to host your projects in. One Azure tenant can hold multiple Azure DevOps organizations and one organization can hold multiple projects. So configure this part for what makes sense for your organization. Once you have your organization set up, create a new project. In this case, you're gonna be configuring only a single folder inside of the repository to sync with Azure Automation so I'm gonna name this project scripting to hold all of my scripts. Do what makes sense for your use case here. Now let's configure our project. Inside your Azure DevOps project, go to the repos tab. By default, when you create a new project, DevOps will create a repository with the same name. In this use case, this is perfectly fine. I'm gonna create a new folder inside of the repository named Azure Automation. This is gonna be our folder that syncs over to Azure Automation. Git does not allow for empty folders to be created. So you need to create the first file at the same time you create the folder. I just create a placeholder file named placeholder. I know, super original I know, but either way, to make this whole process easier, now I'm gonna go and clone this repository to my computer so we can access it in Visual Studio Code. Now everything came in correctly, including the placeholder. Great, now it's time to connect Azure Automation to Azure DevOps. But before we can actually make that connection, we got a couple of permission items to sort out first. First, in the project settings, go to security and policies and enable third-party application access via OAuth. This is what we're gonna use to basically allow the two components of Azure to talk to each other. Then we have to add the managed identity from Azure Automation as a project contributor in the Azure DevOps project. This will consume one of the basic DevOps licenses, so if you're still in underneath that five user cap, we'll be free. If this is now user number six, it's gonna cost you five bucks per month. Now, lastly, the Azure Automation Managed Identity needs to be able to write to itself, so we have to add it as an automation contributor on its own Azure Automation account. Seems a little circular there, but whatever. Now we can go and configure the source control. Inside your Azure Automation account, go to Source Control. Select Add and give the Source Control an intuitive name and choose Azure DevOps Git. Authenticate using your Azure DevOps account when prompted. After you finish the authentication prompt, select the repository and branch from the DevOps project. If you're scoping this down to a single folder like I am, type in the folder path as well. Turn on auto sync and leave publish from book enabled as well. Click save to save your configuration. I'm gonna use Visual Studio Code to move my existing script into Azure DevOps. This is the original script that we used in the previous Azure Automation video here. So I'm copying a script from Azure Automation into a new file that's stored in the Azure DevOps repository so that it can sync from Azure DevOps back to Azure Automation. Little confusing there, but we'll work through it here. 
Obviously, if you're not creating YouTube videos about these topics, your source script won't already be in your destination. So in short, copy your scripts into the Azure DevOps repository. Commit and push your automation script changes to the Azure DevOps repository. This will enable all the features it gets on those scripts. Going forward, you'll have complete history of changes. You can easily revert to previous versions as needed as well. Now we need to enable the syncing feature in Azure Automation and we're good to go. If you skipped my previous Azure Automation video, here is your friendly reminder to add any PowerShell modules or Python packages your scripts require to your Azure Automation account. If you don't, your scripts will fail. Now we see that the script has synced over and all it needs is a schedule assigned to it. You can do this part from Visual Studio Code too if the schedule is already created. Now just to bring this full circle, let's do a quick test to make sure everything still works. Oh hey, my little extra configuration for summarized team messages from that script just popped in here. Check out the Azure Automation video link below if you want to learn how to do that as well. Congratulations, you have now successfully set up Azure DevOps as your source control for Azure Automation. With this setup, you can collaborate with your team, track changes, and ensure version control is enabled for all of your automation scripts. Unfortunately, now you can't blame your coworkers for your mistakes. Thank you for watching this video. You can, if you found it helpful, please leave me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the channel for more informative content in the future. Leave me a comment below on how you plan to use Azure Automation and or Azure DevOps in the future. Again, my name is Terry and this is my lab. Until next time, keep building.